Hey, hello everybody. I'm going to teach you how to uh, interpret a rhythm strip with using just an index card, okay? So the first thing I want to do when I'm looking at a rhythm strip is I want to know if this is a six second strip. And I can see that this is a six second strip because there is a small line here and a small line here. So in between these two small lines, there is three seconds. And there's a small line here and a small line here. And I know in between these two lines is three seconds. So this is a six second strip. So the first thing I wanna do when I'm interpreting a rhythm strip is I wanna know what the heart rate is, okay? So how I can determine that is um, if you have a six second strip, you can count the number of QRSs and multiply by 10, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this heart rate is about 80 beats per minute. So the next thing I need to determine is if this heart rate is, um, or this rhythm strip, I should say, is regular, okay? The rhythm is regular. Okay, so I am going to check first my atrial rhythm. And so like what I like to do, this is the way I learned it, is I put a little line right at the beginning of the P waves, okay? Now, all I simply do is just walk it out and see that my P waves are all marching out. So in other words, my atrial rhythm is regular, okay? Now, I can do the same thing with my QRSs. I just flip this around, okay? And you can draw a little line at the top of your QRSs, and now I'm gonna march it out. And this is called um, your R to R interval, okay? So my R to Rs, are regular, okay? So my ventricular rhythm is regular. So I can say that this heart, uh, it, this rhythm strip, the rhythm is regular, okay? The next thing I need to do is analyze my P waves. So I look at all the P waves, and what I'm looking for is I wanna know if they're upright, if they're smooth, if they're rounded, and if they're consistent. I wanna make sure that all my P waves look the same throughout the rhythm strip. And they do, they all look the same, they're upright. The most important thing is that every P wave is right before it precedes a QRS, and it does. So I'm happy with my P waves. The next thing I need to do is measure the PR interval. So remember I had this little line, right, at the beginning of my P waves? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw one, you're gonna measure the PR interval from the beginning of your P wave to the beginning of the QRS. So I'm gonna make a nice long line at the beginning of my QRS and also here. Now I wanna know if my QRS, I mean, I'm sorry, if my PR interval is consistent throughout. So I just mark, match it out. And it is, it's pretty consistent throughout. So my PR interval is consistent. Now to measure it, the easiest thing to do is to take your card and bring it up to a big box, okay? And remember, this is the beginning of my P wave and this is the beginning of my QRS, okay? So this this PR interval is point zero, is point 0.2 seconds or 0 0.2 seconds long, which is within the normal range, okay? So the next thing I need to measure is my QRS. So what I like to do is I put a little line at the end of my QRS. Now I can come up and put my big line, which is the beginning of my QRS, on a big line. And it looks like this QRS is two little boxes. So that's 0 0.08 seconds, which is within normal range. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to examine the ST segment, okay? I wanna know if it's isoelectric. And what I mean by that is it's flat. It's not raised and it's not depressed. And this is isoelectric, okay? And I can tell because this is not um, elevated or depressed, okay? So I can say that this is normal sinus rhythm because the heart rate is 80, which is within normal sinus rhythm range. It's a regular rhythm. The P waves are consistent, upright, and there's one before every QRS. The PR interval is 0 0.2 seconds, which is within the normal range. The QRS complex 
is 0 0.08 seconds, which is in the normal range. And the ST segment is isoelectric. So I'm pretty happy that this is normal sinus rhythm.